a profusion of chrome, wood, and steel. That would be one way to sum up this automobile. But for many fans of Mercedes classic cars, it's the most beautiful Mercedes-Benz Coupe of all time. The 280 SE 3.5 from the W111 series. The stately four-seater coupe, also available as a convertible, was first produced in 1961. It had a 2.2-liter six-cylinder engine and 120 horsepower. Mercedes-Benz continued to produce the model for the next decade. It remained unchanged, at least on the outside. A V8 version of the W111 coupe is considered like the Blue Mauritius stamp, a rarity. Just over 3,000 cars left the factory in the last year of production, 1970. 200 horsepower, a 3.5 liter engine. The car can hit a top speed of 200 kilometers per hour. Two years before the coupe's debut, Daimler began producing the sedan version. It formed the technical basis for the coupe. The company even took over the car platform with the same wheelbase. Security and safety concerns were also a major issue to protect passengers and drivers in case of an accident. Mercedes did pioneering work in this field at the time. Car enthusiasts adore the timeless elegance of the 280 SE. It has aged with dignity, if it has at all. Collector Marcos Diamant says, only if the vehicle's in perfect condition can you see what was planned at the time and how things were back then. A car that's 30 or 40 years old and quite dilapidated doesn't give you the same feeling. He thinks a car only has a certain value if it's in mint condition. Of course, a perfectionist like car collector Marcos Diamant would find the most sought-after model of the coupe, the 3.5 edition of the 280 SE, attractive. Another reason is that this car seems surprisingly contemporary in terms of performance. Even as you cruise around the countryside, you still have plenty of power left over to take your drive a notch higher. That allows you to breathe easier. The W111 Coupe was the first Mercedes model equipped with a 3.5-liter V8 engine. That same engine remained a part of the Mercedes program until the early 90s. Then it was replaced by a new four-cylinder model. Pure luxury on the inside the finest burled walnut ever seen, and sumptuous leather everywhere. Marcos explains that this is a German vehicle that's been beautifully restored, but changes were made that actually weren't great. Everything was modernized inside, with quilted seats, an ultra suede roof liner and a TV, things that don't belong here. Now the car again looks the way it used to, and the colors dark brown and silver. Hundreds of hours were required, along with thousands of euros, before the vehicle again looked just the way it did when it was delivered straight from the factory in 1970. The trunk is sizable, great for trips to exclusive locations. A coupe in mint condition like this one can easily set you back six figures. But that investment also gets you a truly classic car, one that seems made to take its passengers wherever they want, whether it's to Berlin's Kudam or the French Riviera.